Now at 3.30, school staff and police saved the life of a student after she overdoses on what is suspected to be a fentanyl-laced pill. Faculty jumped into action and administered CPR while officers rushed to give the young girl Narcan. Detectives were able to track down and arrest two suspects they believe sold the girl the counterfeit pill. KTLA 5 Shelby Nelson live in Riverside where she spoke with police. Shelby. Yeah, Riverside police say this girl is only a 15 or 16 year old girl uh, here at Arlington High School. She's a sophomore and that she had a uh, luckily regain consciousness eventually she has fully recovered but again this is a wake up call for students and parents they are asking parents to talk to their kids about the dangers of those illicit drugs and how they could be laced with fentanyl now in this case it happened back on October 20th Riverside police tell us that uh, they waited to release this information pending part of their investigation a female student 15 or 16 as i said was in the main office and suddenly collapsed officials say it looked like she was having a seizure that's when school staff started assessing her. Luckily, the school resource officer was also nearby. They started giving her CPR, all the while paramedics were called. CPR helped bring the student's pulse back, but by the time paramedics arrived, they administered Narcan, which is a form of treatment that could be administered with, within a narrow window of time for someone who has overdosed. That Narcan allowed the student to regain full consciousness. This girl had recently purchased uh, what she thought was uh, Oxycontin. It, it kind of comes in the form of this M30 pill is, is what the uh, street name is. It's a synthetic uh, version of Oxycontin that's generally laced with fentanyl. She didn't know there was fentanyl in there uh, when she was getting it or when she took it. And Riverside police believe she purchased that pill suspected to be laced with fentanyl through Snapchat and the two de dealers actually delivered it to her home, which brings us to the issue of how accessible these drugs are becoming. Officials say drug dealers are using social media platforms to sell really all forms of drugs, pills, cocaine, heroin, and many are laced with the synthetic opioid that is fentanyl. Now the bigger problem, our youth is also getting their hands on it. Just these past few months, we saw fentanyl related deaths among high school students across the Southland, one in La Puente, another in Woodland Hills, and a student also died at Bernstein High School in Hollywood. Now, today I spoke with one man who lost his 16-year-old son to fentanyl overdose back in 2020. He is now advocating so that younger kids are educated. He is the president of Void or Victims of Illicit Drugs, and they are working to educate the youth. The problem is, is that these children feel like when they go onto social media apps and buy these pills, they feel like they're getting pharmaceutical grade uh, pills, but they're not. They're all fake. And but the kids don't have this information. And the reason why they don't have this information is because the school districts are not allowing or are not permitting specific fentanyl education to go into the schools. If our schools were to impart specific fentanyl education to our children, we could abate these drug deaths in a heartbeat, but we're not doing that. Now, in this particular case here in Riverside, police tell us that they did arrest two 19 year old suspects. They have not released their identities because they are continuing this investigation. Reporting live in Riverside, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.